Alright guys, Zachman18 here. Welcome back to the WTZM TV channel Teen Superstation. It is time to continue on with our Let's Play of The Walking Dead. In the last part, we just finished up the first episode of the game. It was called, uh, what's it called? what was it called again? A New Day. And uh, it was a crazy ending. So, in uh, this next episode, this gonna be, uh, looks... Uh, even more insane. So I'm loving the game so far. I'm I'm thinking the story is just going incredible so far. So uh, let's keep going with episode two. Starved for help. Let's do this. After it loads. <laughs> to load here. There we go. Oh, they'll give us a... I know who you are. I got another one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. you've got with you <laughs> you watch your ass I hate you so much god I hope he dies in like this part because I really freaking hate him all right <laughs> let's get started telltale games Skybound Entertainment. Three months later. Oh. Hit the zombie. Is he, al is he alone now? Oh, nope, never mind. <laughs> Damn. What'd they get this? <coughs> uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> Well, that's another meal lost. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Yeah, a rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. 
Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Well, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. I'm gonna go right out with it. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Our problems are not. We should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Dickhead. <laughs> Sorry. And a bird? Don't. No. Shadow bring walkers. Or birds not worthy. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Ah! Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. I hope it's not Kenny. Kenny's my bro. That's like a no, bear no. trap. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Who raided your camp? I, I don't know. Guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. We've got to hope. Please. Then shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh, jeez. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit. Walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please. Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh. Uh, Do you think you can get it open? It's tough Please. To get me Lee, out of this. Something. Oh god, oh god, oh god. There's gotta be something we can do. We need the Air Force base to lift ordinance. You're not cutting through that. Come on. Is he gonna try? Is he gonna make it? Oh. This is bad. Oh man. Oh man. Just get me out, please. All that blood and screaming. We gotta stop it in that. There's gotta be another way. Oh, we gotta chop his leg off! Oh, God. Damn it, Lee just cut off his fucking leg! No, no, no! You don't have time Try to trap him! I'm sorry, Anything but we please. have to go now! Oh, God! Oh, God, the long pauses are really painful. Lee, I can't keep him back forever! Oh, God, why are they showing a. Ooh. Oh god, there's so many of them. Fuck, I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. Oh god. Jesus. Oh god. Shit. Is he? 
passed out. He's alive. Grab him and let's go. Come on, come on, we gotta move! Uh oh. Yeah, he's dead. Holy crap! What in the world? Oh my god, I don't wanna see that at all. Good night. Holy crap. That's a freaking intro right there. Holy cow. Oh. That was nasty. All right. Back to the motel. Whew. Episode 2 Starved for Help. There's the idiot. They've been living here for three months. Holy cow. Hope she doesn't shoot one of us accidentally. Okay. We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! God. What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's going on? We have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking minute? Hey, no, I mouth. don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. What? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? 
everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Oh, we have to pick who you get food to? That's gonna be tough. A lot of people here. You only have four food items for ten hungry people? Odds are not good there. Alrighty. So we've got some crackers, an apple, and an axe. Alright, so let's... Let me have something else with this too. Alright, so I think I want to give the food to the kids first. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Claire. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Alright, let's feed these guys. Hey, Clem. You need something to eat. Uh, let's give her the half an apple. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Even though he's kind of annoying, I'm going to give some to Duck. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Uh, he's already excited. Let's give him some jerky. Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! Oops, didn't mean to talk to her. Dang it. Oh, let's see if we can get some Let advice from her. Handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. Yeah, man. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. All right, well... Back in a bit. I guess we'll listen to her. We'll give some to Kenny here. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Cool. Got one more thing left. I want to give it to someone oh, else. Some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Let's talk to Kenny. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Okay. Um, How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. You're mean. I'm giving it to the most important people. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. 
All right, I guess I'll have to give food to the <sighs> jerk. Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Larry seems like he's better with the axe, so... Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? There, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. I'm not sure if giving food to Larry was the, was the best idea. Probably should have given some to Mark. Dang it. Ugh. Not such an easy job, is it? I did what Carly told me to it's do. It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh my god! Oh my god, the guy turned into a zombie! Jesus! Oh god! Oh god! Um, left of it, okay. Come on. Holy cow. Get off of the damn way. Just gotta shove him. Shove him. My God. Damn it, I have it. Stupid. Oh God! Oh God! Oh Jesus! Go, 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 go! Holy crap! Crap! Get him, boy! Oh my God! Or Carly, I should say. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Sorry. Gave Why'd you the crap bring out of him me. here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all <sighs> killed. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? 
He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What?! Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. Huh? You come back no matter how you die. What? If you destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Yeah, so he's basically saying we're all infected. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother, Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. Whoa. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? Let's go. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Alrighty. So, so we're going to the dairy there. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Nice. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Huh. You think they'd want oh, me, me? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Barry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? It's a democracy. We work as a group. <laughs> All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there, anyway? Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. 
Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mom's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but now it's... Just... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You Ooh, these guys. are always pulling this shit. Uh-oh. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you. Fuck you knew we were hungry, you and you guys were keeping it all to yourself. Oh, no. There's yeah, a lot more. Yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Holy cow. Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Good lord. Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Whew. Holy crap. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. Defense keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. Oh. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. <laughs> Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Ooh, Amazing. Nice. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this battle of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along and take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. 
All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. Right, uh... Okay. Just swing over here. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat. Some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Okay. around the house. I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here. Just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was a tough night. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'll be worth it. Trust me. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy. But don't tell him I said that. <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. All right. So we can't actually go inside yet. There's plants over here. Mmm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Uh... A shoe bucket over here. Some this rope. rope is perfect for the swing. Okay. Uh. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, generator. Here's Andy. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. Of them. We gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. 
We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. All right, here we go. to get the St. John's to like us? Well, we don't want to seem over-anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is going to go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better, Ryland. There's one. Ugh. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. <laughs> Come on, let's push it off. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Jeez. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Who do you think he was? At least it's not one of us. There we go. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Probably smells nasty. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. <laughs> I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? I'm coming. Whoa. Turn the fence on. He knows we're out here. Oh. What the? Get to the gate. 
Holy crap! Chalk here. Give us the food. What else is there? Oh, here we go. What about all the Did you really need to fuck with Whoa. Come on. If you can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit, the gates! Get to the gate using the tractor as cover. Are these the bandit guys? I don't think it's them. It can't be. Doesn't sound like them. Oh my god. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have to move it. There we go. This zombie is right behind us. Crap. Oh my god. What? What the fudge? Oh my god, did we do this again? Jesus! How come I couldn't push him? Alright, alright. Better. Let's get out of here. Whoa. Go ahead and run. Okay. So we died once, but that's okay. At least it was right back to our last checkpoint. With an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Jeez. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What man. kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. 
It was just a fluke thing. We can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Wow. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. Sweet. Hope your kids like swings. A swing? I love swings. Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Did the game save? Because I'm not sure. <laughs> so let's just keep looking around here and until I see the thing saving. So I do have to end this part pretty Mark soon. I guess and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. I'll bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. Um, why do I want me to use the gate? Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're going to need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Alright, well, I'd like to save our game. I'd like it to save our game, but. There's but not enough room in the house for all of us. I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. Lots of hay. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for marrows, if that becomes a problem. Okay. Um, so what I might do uh, for the next part is I'll just redo all those things and go through all the dialogue again. And I don't want to start on the thing yet, so... Let's talk to these people before we hey, end this Clint, part. Do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? Alright, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Wait for that wheel to pop up because I'd like it to save our game. Don't worry, we're safe here. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a little worried about Mark. 
Is Mark going to be okay? You've been lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck. So don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. All right, then. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. All right, so... Uh, I will just, uh, I'll start the part and then I'll, uh, do all the things that I need to, uh, do that's necessary, so, um, is there any way I can just save it automatically? Doesn't look like it, so, uh, that's gonna do it for this part for The Walking Dead, we just started the for a second chapter, we kind of got into the first, uh, hour of it, um, pretty long part, so hopefully you guys can... Uh, enjoy this part while you can until the next part, so uh, I'm excited to continue on with the chapter, so thanks everybody for watching, part number four of our Let's Play of The Walking Dead on the PC, I'm the Zachman18, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video, coming soon. Peace out.